So what would I like to achieve this morning? I'd like to inspire you into action, like I've been inspired into action. Right now, I feel I've done it. Did you guys ever see the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, where Nicholson McMurphy, he tells all the inmates, I'm going to pick up this thing here, and I'm going to lift it up and throw it through that window, and we're all going to go see the World Series. Of course, he picks this thing up. He can't, he can't lift it. And he really disappoints all the inmates. And what he said is the way I feel now. Well, at least I tried. At least I've done that. I'm going to give you the gift of how to solve all these terrible accidents in your industry. And it's from watching it from what, how they do it in Oman. I fly with 20 nationality of pilots right now. All the way from South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, Peru, Central America, Mexico, America of course, Canada, Europe, England, Ireland, Germany, and you know how they do it? They fly with two crew, night vision goggles, and the two crew are instrument rated and current. They don't land at night to unprepared landing spots that haven't been wrecked during the day. And the medical influence is out of the cockpit. That's my gift to you. Now, what you decide to do with it is up to you. But I guarantee you, you will reduce your accident rate by a minimum 80% if you commit to do it that way. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm fighting against the tide here because there's e economics to worry about too. But how much is a human life worth? I feel like Peter Finch. Have ever, <laughs> most of you are probably too young to remember this. There was a movie in 1976 called Network. And there's this famous scene where Peter Finch goes on a rant. He's a, uh, a journalist, and he tells America to open the windows, stick your head out the window, and yell at the top of your lungs, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. And that's how I felt when I went for that walk. What can one man do? And I'm mad as hell. I am not going to see one more life taken in an air medical helicopter because it's preventable. And the reason that it's, it's not being followed is because the, oh, it's the 500 pound bacterium in the OR that everybody ignores. It's money, it's greed, and it's killing people. So my gift to you is if you want to stop the accident rate, two crew, we almost lost an aircraft in Saudi Arabia three months ago. We have two crew, full spare autopilot. There's no influence of the medical crew at all, medical team at all in the cockpit. And we had a pilot lose spatial orientation on the scene of an accident, landing, landing at the scene of an accident. If we didn't have a co-pilot there, they were in a 40 degree bank, 1,000 feet a minute. A South African paramedic said he's never been so scared in his life. He called off the flight. That was it. And he lost spatial orientation twice. If we didn't have a, a, a co-pilot there, I would be telling you right now that we had an accident. I've flown two crew for 26 years. It's the way to go. Yeah, but it's too expensive. Mm-hmm. It is. But you'll do it right and you'll save lives. I tell my friends at Abu Dhabi Aviation, those 20 nationalities, how we do it in the States, and we, they think we're nuts. Most countries in the world don't fly at night VFR unless you have two crew that are instrument rated and qualified. Now, Carlos, I'd like to turn the lights on, please. OK. 
can't tell if they're on. Are they on? You don't want to fly with me if I can't tell the lights are on. <laughs> okay, thanks. Now, some envelopes were handed out. Could those of you with envelopes please stand up? Inside each envelope, I have a name of every air medical person who died since I wrote the Golden Hour. And look around. This is how many colleagues we've lost since I wrote that book. If you don't want to see any more people die, please remember the gift that I'm giving you today on how to do it right. Okay. But look around. Look how many people are standing. Look how many people we've lost. Please join me like Peter Finch and say, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, well thank you very much. That was one of the moving, most moving keynote speakers we've ever had. I really appreciate you all getting up early this morning. I think you all have understood the message that we, we can't take it anymore. So have a great day, uh, and if you have uh, any other comments, Randy will be here for a few minutes to answer questions. Thanks.